guys, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So you're probably hoping for another build today, right? Well, I got good news for you because we are doing another build today. But before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know what Skillshare is, I am so happy that I get to be the one to introduce you to them as they are an online learning community with over thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. So on Skillshare, you can explore your creativity, discover new skills or maybe improve the skills that you already have. They offer classes in interior design, productivity, video editing. Actually, they offer a lot of different classes for the different Adobe programs, which is pretty cool. They also offer classes in creative writing, how to make a career out of your creativity and much more. And since it's also currently the holiday season, you can also, for example, look up classes in how to make the perfect handmade gift. One of the classes that I've personally found super helpful is Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space by Christopher Griffin, aka Plant Queen. I loved his positive attitude throughout the whole class and the way that he talked about his plants. Like you can hear that it's something he's really passionate about. And I've also learned that I should probably get a humidifier because I don't have one. And I gotta do everything that I possibly can to take care of my green girls. Skillshare is made for learning so there are no ads to interrupt you while you're taking a class. And they continuously launch new premium classes so there's always some something new to explore and learn. And if you get the annual subscription, it's only $10 a month. And Skillshare have been so generous to give the first thousand people who click the link in the description a free trial so you guys can explore your creativity. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get started with that build. So today we're doing the last one of the tiny lofts here in Semishuno. I still can't upload these to the gallery, by the way. I feel like if I were to upload, because some people have said that, or some of you have said that what I can do is use half walls to kind of mark where the different platforms are, but it's an entire apartment and this apartment is quite big. I feel like, first of all, it wouldn't fit into the description on the gallery and it would be way too messy as well. So I don't think, like, I don't know. It's, it's way too messy for me to be able to upload this but I'm still just hoping that they'll fix it at some point. But just so you know, because I get questions about this on every every apartment, every one of these tiny lofts that I've done, I've gotten questions, even though I've said it in the voiceover, I've gotten questions about like, why are these not on the gallery? Are you going to be uploading them to the gallery? And so on, even though I've mentioned it in the other tiny lofts. So I feel like I just wanted to explain it before we get far too in or too far into the voiceover. So if they're not on the gallery, they're not going to be on the gallery unless apartments on the gallery are fixed because so far it's kind of difficult to upload apartments and impossible or close to impossible to upload them when you're using platforms in them as well. So unfortunately that is the thing which kind of makes me not want to use platforms in other apartments because I like to share my creations with you guys. So I don't know. It works perfectly fine with houses but apartments still need a little bit of work. So anyways, the one that we're doing today is Tumblr inspired because it's actually, I feel like it's been a while since the last time I did anything Tumblr inspired. And I don't know if you guys know, like some of you may not know what this sort of like Tumblr style is. To me, it's very, it's Ikea mixed with bohemian and also with a lot of plants. It's very white and gray with natural wood tones as well. And I don't know, it's kind of cozy as well. It's not too minimalistic either. They like decor on the walls, of course, like a lot of pictures. And yeah, that's basically like, I feel like that's what it is. Also light ropes and fairy lights. Although I don't think I actually ended up using any fairy lights in this apartment. But as for the rest of the things I just mentioned, I've definitely stuck to those. I wouldn't say there's like a specific set of rules to follow when you're doing Tumblr interior because it's up for interpretation. So what I feel might be Tumblr inspired interior is not necessarily what you feel is Tumblr inspired interior and that is okay. This is just my personal interpretation of it. It might not suit yours just so you know and that is okay. So anyways, that is uh, that's what we're doing today. We're doing the last one of the smaller tiny apartments. This one is actually, I think it's the second biggest of the four. I think the one that I did the last time was the smallest and then 
the artist mini loft, micro loft, whatever I ended up calling that was the second smallest. So this is definitely on the larger side for a micro or a tiny loft, but I'm still like, I'm not building this as room builds. So I kind of still had to stick to the shape or the shell of this apartment. So that's why some of the apartments are a little bit on the bigger side, but it had to fit with the windows and I had to make sure that I could make a proper layout of the apartments. This one specifically is a little bit different because it has to sort of like cut out down here with the windows as well. So I feel like it works though. It has a nice flow. It has a nice layout. It's very open with the windows as well, which is nice when you're living in a small house or apartment. It's nice to have like bigger windows because that automatically kind of makes the space seem a little bit bigger. It's the same as if, uh, if you have a lot of with no not windows <laughs> i almost said the same thing twice if you have a lot of mirrors as well in smaller spaces that automatically makes the space seem a little bit larger so today we're not using a lot of mirrors but there's a lot of windows in this specific apartment so also i decorated this during afternoon in the game so the lighting is really nice it sort of has like this orange kind of tint to it it's very saturated it's there's a lot i don't know how to say that anyways and also if you get the chance to look out the window in this apartment at any point during this video i don't know if i make it possible but if you do the sky is almost like orange purple kind of i think it's because of my reshade that the blue turns into purple instead but it does have like a very nice orange sort of color in it and I don't know it looked gorgeous when I was taking the screenshots for the end of the video so I just thought I would mention it so um yeah Sims 4 did get something right the lighting is pretty good like I'm not gonna lie if you have your settings set to max the lighting is pretty good so this video I don't actually know if it's going up today but if it is it's going up a little bit late because that came out so weird because you guys don't know what today is I am doing the voiceover on Friday but basically I had to go pick up like four packages I had to go twice so I've been around the city just picking up packages <laughs> because I am a weakling, so I cannot carry things. I can't carry bigger packages. My arms hurt from carrying packages home, which is ridiculous and kind of sad. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too proud of it. Definitely gotta do something about that. But um, I had to just like run around the city trying to pick up packages. Of course, get my Friday candy as well because I am an adult. I deserve Friday candy, so yeah, it's just been like one of those days having to, uh, like I feel like I've been in a hurry all day and it's not over yet. And though I love December, we've talked about this in the last video, the Christmas video. I love December with my whole heart. I just, it is a stressful month because there's a lot of shopping to do. There's a lot of preparations and my sister is coming on the 22nd as well. So I'm going to be pre-recording for that unless I just decide to take like five days off or something i don't think so <laughs> but because like no christmas time without videos up on the channel is just weird we might not post on like the 24th and the 25th but there's definitely going to be something on the other days so i'm going to be pre-recording for that as well for two channels so like december is a little bit on the busy side but you know we love to stay busy we love working here but um it, it's definitely on the stressful side, I will say that, especially when you have to go around the city picking up packages. I, today I wish I had a car, even though it wouldn't really have helped me at all whatsoever, because there's no parking spots near the post office, so whatever. But um, it's done, everything is done. I have all the presents ready and I'm super excited to give them to people. Have I told you guys that I just love Christmas shopping, I know it's it's not like it's not a normal thing to say. I'm pretty sure that most people would disagree with me, but I love Christmas shopping, which is why I have had a hand in everyone's presents, and this has been the same for like years. <laughs> it's it's just a thing. I know what everyone gets for presents or for Christmas because I have a hand in everything. I love to help out my parents choose presents for my siblings. So, so far I've helped out my mom. I'm just waiting for my dad to, dad, if you're watching this, why haven't you messaged me yet? We're supposed to go Christmas shopping, hello? So, um, 
yeah, now I'm gonna come off as like the needy kind of person. Hello, why are we not going Christmas shopping? Why are you ignoring me, dad? <laughs> just in case he's watching, you know, just give me a call, okay? I just love Christmas shopping, so I can't wait to... Because I love buying presents for people, so I can't wait for everyone to receive theirs. And yeah, anyways, we ended up talking about Christmas for the whole voiceover and picking up packages. So I hope you enjoyed it, though. You can't download the spilled off the gallery, but I'll keep it in my game just in case... The Sims ever decides to fix the gallery and apartment buildings, so maybe at some point there'll be like a special little surprise on the gallery. If not, then I don't know. It's kind of sad, not gonna lie. But anyways, thank you to Skillshare again for sponsoring today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Feelings come to life again When I thought I didn't care I just saw her standing near Made my feelings come to life again Now I wake up every morning next to her I gotta pinch myself to prove that she's my girl There's no place I'd rather be here in this world Cause I have no doubt and I know she is the one Up on love, and I tried to block those feelings off.